So in the last class, we are discussing about built-in functions. As part of that, we are into aggregate functions, okay? So basically, aggregate functions is all about displaying only one value. Whatever you do, it will only show you one result, okay? So we only have five types, max, minimum, sum, average, count. Okay, now, now some, after some time, you might need some different set of values. First, I'm executing select star from EMP. See, if I ask you, what is the highest salary? You will simply say max of salary. But after some time, I want to divide them based on their department sections. So, department number 10, 20, 30. So, for example, 10th department, I want highest salary. What do you say? See your 10th department? 31,000. 20 department, something like uh, 11,000 now. Huh? And 30th department, what is the highest salary now? Huh? 21, huh? 2, 1, some 850, okay. So, see, try to understand what we are doing every department higher salary so what columns we need means department number column salary column right let's take department number comma salary from emp first time we'll execute this now you get all but you can't uh, uh, what we thought we want to divide them by group by department numbers right simply take Group by department number. So after grouping, what is our requirement? Highest salary. Max of salary. This is what we done. But it was in a different manner. If you want the resulted one, we can go with order by whatever, whatever, whatever. Leave it there. Order by department number. Here you can give ascending or descending. If you don't give anything, it default it take ascending. If you want descending, DSC. <clears throat> okay, now. Now, see, my requirement is this time, I want to divide based on job Okay, now let's see what is our jobs and all. IT, whatever the IT thing, who is getting lowest salary? Okay, clerk, lowest salary. Salesman, lowest salary. Manager, president. Okay, so first let's uh, write our query first. Select what we want, job, comma, salary from EMP. So I said according to the jobs. It means group by job. <clears throat> One more requirement we have is minimum salary. Right? Minimum salary. In IT, 11,000 is the least salary. For president, 10,000. Nenarjula, salesman ke kochi mital takurana. So these are the minimum salaries. You understood the theme? See now what exactly we done. Whenever you use the aggregate functions, whenever you are using them, you definitely have to. Uh, see, when I say definite, whenever you have columns. After the aggregate functions, if you are using any column, then you have to group by column. 
okay now if you are not using any column next to aggregate of thing after this function the if you use column then only you want to write here if you are write one more column column 2 you definitely have to write column 2 okay and after some time you okay you done uh, select um, suppose uh, the min of uh, salary from table you know some minimum salary is 6,300. Okay. I have one condition now. What is my requirement is I want maximum salary should be greater than 30,000. That is my rule. Okay. So what I'm writing is select max of salary from EMP. Okay. Now basically every time we used to do where condition. Right. First, we'll try with where. You'll get an error. Group by function is not allowed here. Because you have used So, what is your maximum salary? 31,000. If I give 32, you don't get any value. Okay. See, simply having is used for searching. However, you use where condition, same way. But you have to remember is aggregate points. When I say points, we have four sets. First, every aggregate returns only one value. Okay. If you want to see more than one, you want to group by. Whenever you want to search the data, you want to use having class, having aggregate of column name, greater than or less than whatever the value. In there are rules. So after the aggregate functions, we will move immediately to analytical functions. See, now you done maximum value, minimum value, and you group it and you search with having class. But after some time, there I have a requirement. See, why I want to say again always maximum, minimum? I want third rank, fourth rank, fifth rank, last rank, something like that. Okay, so for that. Uh, we have an option called as rank and dense rank. So first select start from EMP. This is our employee table. Focus on only salary, okay? Uh, for reference, See, second low uh, ascending, uh, this is uh, ascending, right? Ascending, it means lowest value. Huh? Lowest second value is 6331. Okay. Just remind yourself for that one for now. Select dense rank over. It means on which column? I want to order by salary in a ascending format. And I'm giving some name. So this is all considered as a one column. So, for not confusing everyone, I'll give rank from EMP. So, now you'll get all ranks. But one problem, why I need numbers? I also need a what salary, what, for what salary we are getting this rank, comma, whatever, after this one we have to write, comma, salary. You know, this RNK is for alias. Alias done now. Synonym? Only alias. Okay. Okay, R and K we give. So salary, see here, 6,300, 3, 1, 7, 9, 7, 4. Now compare this 11,000. See how many you have? 1, 2, 3, 4. After fourth rank, what I'm doing is... Um, 
I'm copy and pasting here. Okay. Same thing, Ra. Same thing. I'm only doing for rank. We have two operations. One is dense rank. Another is rank. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, one, two, three, four. Copying from here, Ra. Instead of that, let's only write this ranks. Okay. Four. Next one, Ra. Four, four, next to five, next to next to next to next to nine of China. My little follow all round here. You have to follow. Okay, see now basically, okay, if we are taking some ranks after four, five, it should be definitely six, right? But what happened here? It was based on it was simply based on the position. If you see little bit down, I'll scroll. See what is the position? Ninth position. So you are getting ninth rank here. After that, 10, 11, 11, 11. next 12th rank, right? But see what is the position? 13th. You understood? There was a problem with rank. Ra. That thing is, it will always shows you location. Position of the number. Not the particular rank. It, will, it shows error. For that only we have dense rank. So in interview they'll ask you, what is the difference between rank and dense rank? You just say, <clears throat> rank will skip a number. And they it was skipping it, uh, skipping some numbers. Dense rank will give sequential numbers. Okay. So one small uh, work for you today. Just know what is row number. It is same like this only, but that is task for the day. Okay, after rank and dense rank, you uh, let's play with select query only. You know how to use distinct, right? Now, you want to know something like row num, comma, employee number from EMP. So, what is this row num means? Just simply numbers. See, here you are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, there is no kirkas. Everything is fine. But... Only the thing you have to know is it will change based on things. Order by EMP number descending or uh, descending I'll take. Alright. It was playing with me now. <clears throat> I thought this will give any format. Let's take employee name, okay? E name. See now, again roll number got changed. It means this thing is not permanent. Ronam is not permanent. It is temporary. For everything, it was showing the same thing. But what I need is, if I ask you, uh, the if you take the shelf in front of us, that is first, second block, third block, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like that we are dividing. Okay, after some time, you remove one block, again it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, whatever you do, it doesn't change. The number will be a sequence. But it is not permanent. It's only for some time. But if you see, we call row ID and matter. Row ID. Comma E name from EMP. This is unique address. Address of the data. See, if I copy this, where row ID equals to, see, this is what now. I'm particularly searching for this guy. See whether uh, it gives same data or not. 
it means what you remember you have to remember is row id is a physical address of a data row num is a temporary number and with this you have to know what is row number okay <clears throat> So now one more time we'll talk about select query only. Okay, this time same what to write where? Hmm? After select what we write? Eh? Columns. Right. After from. After where? Some column name equals to value, right? If you want and we'll write and also column name equals to value. For group by. <coughs> Sorry. For example, let's write aggregate of column name. What we write group by? What are the remaining columns? Having class no? Aggregate of column name. Condition. Whatever the condition. Equals to it may be greater than. Equals to some value. Order by column name. Either ascending or descending. Let me copy whatever happened till now. Guys, immediately paste it in your group. So, after this, see, we just spoke about rank and dense rank, right? Uh, you know who is getting which rank? Mama. You know who is getting which rank and all that. But now my question is, I only want to see details of uh, third rank. I only want third rank people what should i do means see now this just assume this is a table this ranks and salaries is a table based on the select query we created one table okay column names is rank and salary okay now based on this i am going to change now see what i said my condition i want to select star from this below one is my table rank and salary so i'm keeping this condition same way no changing okay in the outer block so this is one block so i want to keep braces here uh, coming <clears throat> let's move this block here okay after closing it again i will come here only right where here I said we have two columns, R and K and salary. I want R and K equals to 3. This is what we got the value, right? Only third salary, third highest salary. This is a definite question in interview. They'll ask you second highest salary, third highest salary. If they ask you first highest salary, you'll do max of salary, right? Yeah? Select max of salary simply do. But they'll ask you something like this. So you have to consider whatever you are writing in this block. Select dense rank. On which column? From table. So after executing this, this will act as a one table. This inside query. After that, out the query. Select star from this table. I want this column equals to 3. See, we are at heavy traffic. Outside, too much traffic. In here. So much operation. Uh, now, uh, so rank, dense rank.
you know alias is right just now we gave r and k it is also alias everyone know alias is cheppina na alias is yep cheppaledu see alias is means giving some alternative name of a table and you see this alias is cheppina na these people missed it. i will check now if someone forgets na just don't forget you have to write impression and go okay check just i bro sub string lower సో లక్కీ ఫెలోస్ టుడే let's uh, redo it <clears throat> i thought i would give you in position it's my favorite work you know see we have two things ra one is synonyms <clears throat> another one is aliases both are for giving alternative name of the table only so then what is the difference between them means synonym is a database object so you know whenever i say database object first syntax is create object object name right every time we used to do this when i write a database object was you write create object object name now when i say alias so first synonym is permanent alias is temporary synonym means so i said creating an alternate name for the table right simply write create synonym synonym name for table name that's it single line okay so what i'm thinking is create synonym so our table uh, our employee table name means emp28 na i want to change for synon i want to give e28 okay for emp28 so what we got output e28 got created so by this what it changed will it created a new table no so no table no duplication of table only extra name is created okay only extra name will be added if suppose my name is charita so everyone calls me cherry it doesn't mean i am two persons i am the same person but i have one more name for me okay that is synonym here it, whenever you are searching for data if someone calls me select star from emp28 i will respond because is my real name after some time someone called me with the select star from e28 also i reply other i e28 kuda ostundi it is not changes sir what changes in the not worries anta da sir see if uh, same thing as we thought no duplication of table it means whether you insert something so let me insert something in 28 insert into each uh, emb28 values so i only want to add 106 and the name is uh, apsa okay 
<clears throat> so I want to add columns now. EMP number and E name. One row got inserted. One time we'll check. Absa got created, right? Last one. Now E28. Absa will be there. Yes. Yes. Okay, try it down. So 107. Some kuska. Okay. Execute. One row got inserted. So first, normal will search. After Apsa, we'll see Puska got. In E28, yes, he got. Okay. See, just a nickname, Ra. In company level, you don't have a table this small. They have like paras paras. So that's the reason they make some uh, temporary names so that we can use all over things. Okay. Now coming to aliases. See, I said it's a temporary thing. It won't store because it's not a database object. And uh, same here you have to remember is it only works inside select query. Out of it, you can't do anything. So how you write select from. So if I'm combining two or more tables. So EMP E D P T D I have two different tables. So EMP and department. What I'm doing is simply I'm creating alias name. E is an alias for now only. After that select query you can't use D. <clears throat> I'm calling columns now. So you know in uh, in EMP table E dot E name comma D dot D name. Okay. So what I did is I have two different tables. I have department table in my structure. Don't worry. Okay. Department name I have, employee name I have, but different tables I have. But I'm combining these tables. <clears throat> see, we get some errors. When we see what it's showing, it was calling above ones also. That is the problem. So now we close with semicolon. Huh? It acts like another values. So everyone. You understood now? Just simply what we done is just by taking different names, we are calling the data. So aliases, we have two types here. One is table. Manoj, see the picture. Table aliases, one is column aliases. A table means whenever you give table name, T, whatever columns in that table, you have to call with T only. T dot column 1, T dot column 2. Okay. Column aliases means, you know, if you are combining two or more columns, column 1, double pipe, column 2, double pipe, column 3, then you can give as Mix column. So we'll do examples also. So for this table aliases, we are simply taking this line like this. Where condition? In where condition also you can write rate. Where e dot dpt number equals to d dot dpt number. Two mixed columns over whenever we have something like that. So we can call like that. So now how to use normal aliases now? Select. See, I forgot to say you this select query, okay? Substring of, you know, you know how to create mail IDs? 
what i am thinking is select star from emp i'll show you data then you you can say it easily see here employee number i want three numbers first three numbers i want employee name first three numbers i want okay red t but crap on ra post in anchor blog substring of employee number comma one comma three three numbers together see i want when i want to do mail id i want to combine it and i don't want comma comma i mean like uh, one two three comma chitti i don't want i want one two three chitti are the rate of something so for that we have two operations one is double pipe this pipe hmm? so substring of <clears throat> employee name comma one comma three double pipe of at the rate of xyz dot com okay see now if i execute this see what is a column name so big na this is fine the values are fine na. but uh, seeing this uh, it's not that cute so we are simply doing as email now see the same column name change it na simply that thing you can give as or as no worries you can do directly that thing also okay so now you understood i think so so first table aliases giving table name nicknames and all columns you are calling with that only if i say uh, you all from 28 section so i'll call you 28 28 section vishnu 28 section pavan something like that okay you understood based on the class we are describing it okay now this is the alias so one thing i said i forgot is concat see basically whenever you want to combine two or two things then we go concat if you have more than two things we go with double pipes so double pipes where you can find na above enter button you can see slash something like that it will be double pipe because it's not straight one it will be like ting ting and the one kind of one it will ensure on that okay you can you can see later now in concat see what i am doing is i want to concat employee number comma employee name from emp okay na do pal gode that will be now it 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 is also done the same thing but when comparing to this this is not that much efficient if i add one more column just assume i'm adding salary okay na now you'll get error in the valid number of arguments yes perfect so it means you are exceeding the uh, parameters the block of size or you are not giving correct number of parameters okay so it means you have to give only two if i give one also the same thing will be shown <clears throat> if i give two then only it will satisfy what i'm thinking is uh, some i'll do uh, normal text one time i don't know whether it works or not okay i'm just trying this let's see yes it's work but only two parameters if you give one more comma and uh, try to do x no use again invalid number of arguments by seeing this you should never forget okay <clears throat> so now successfully today you learnt all select queries okay there is no doubt in it now let's one time overview what today happened we discussed about aggregate functions so aggregates are all about returning one value later on one value we decided to group them by particular boxes group by department number group by, group by class okay after that we are searching for something we are using having clause okay after that we went with analytical functions rank and dense rank so rank will skip the number and shows next questions for example 
one one then next one is three four 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 next one is six six or seven if you count position one two three four five six seven but uh, this one will give sequential numbers okay no change here one one two three 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 and four okay and uh, uh, again no back and forth with aggregates i said one value it will return now and in that one value you have to remember count star and count of column name so count star does not valid null values it may here count of column name will will uh, remove nulls and take count <clears throat> okay and uh, what re synonyms synonyms aliases sir so i said database object so create synonym synonym name for table name that's it aliases two types table and column whenever you take table you have to call every column like this only okay that's it now clear up huh? online team any doubts start asking